Good afternoon guys and happy Wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces. I have got a surprise Meyer haul for you guys today. My dad texted me today and goes, can we go to Meyer today? Because he has a uh, like a chiropractor appointment tomorrow. And so he was like, could we go today? Because then on Friday, um, we're going out to the movies and then on Saturday, um, my dad doesn't think he has to work, but, um, just to be safe too, I guess he was just like, how about we just go today? And I was like, sure, why not? I actually finished my grocery list last night, so I was all good. There's a couple extra things I sort of added today, but all in all, guys, I did really good on this haul. Um, I had a lot of, like, rebate offers and stuff like that. Um, surprisingly too, not all this stuff is really, like, Thanksgiving related, but some of the stuff sort of was. All of it was all fairly good or, you know, very, very good deals that I ended up coming up with. I did have two sort of things that ended up costing me a little bit more. I ended up forgetting to give my cashier. Um, I had a dollar off two of that. I showed you guys I've been getting those, uh, the pastoroni like heat and eat little packets. Um, and I had like last week, I think it, or two weeks ago, it printed me off a dollar um, Catalina. And I used that last week. Last week it printed me off another one. So I was going to use that one this week and unfortunately I forgot to grab it out of my purse and hand it to her since normally I'm always just using digital coupons. So that was unfortunate. I ended up paying an extra dollar and obviously those weren't the price that I had expected to get them at them because of that. Um, in addition to that as well, I ended up picking up several different brands of like, um, like um, sort of like seasoning mixes and stuff like that, like engraving mixes and things. So um, I ended up picking up um, a McCormick turkey. I picked up one of these Watkins ones and I picked up two of these Pioneer, um, the uh, smoky country bacon sort of flavored, um, like the breakfast, um, like gravy mix um, for like with uh, biscuits. However, I picked up two of those. They scanned, the lady uh, ended up scanning two of these and my coupon was only, I had one coupon off of one of these and then I had a coupon that was buy one get one free on these. But because she rang up the Watkins twice and this one only once, that coupon didn't end up applying. So, um, and the price difference was a little bit like the Watkins I think was $179 and then these ones, the Pioneer were $149 I think. So I ended up paying a little bit more in addition to not getting the coupon off. So that was a little unfortunate, my forgetting to give her the $1 coupon. Um, and then on top of that too, I actually got into the store and I forgot to look because they did have like some of the, you know, regular Thanksgiving sales, um, like as far as like the produce and meat and stuff like that goes. I didn't really end up checking to see for Meyer because I made the list yesterday and I didn't end up, I got my sales papers yesterday, but I didn't bring them until today. So I looked over them today, but I forgot to double check to see like um, some of the stuff like at Meyer compared to like, you know, what their stuff stuff is because normally when I go through my list I wind up looking like okay who has the cheapest produce for this week and I'll compare and everything like that and I didn't see any place have really potatoes on sale at all all our jewel had theirs on sale for um, 99 cents a pound for like loose potatoes Meyer had their five pound bag on sale for 99 cents so I ended up picking that up obviously because one pounds for a dollar versus five pounds for a dollar is gonna be a better deal but like I said I forgot to check that ahead of time um, so when I got to the store I was like oh they have potatoes on sale so I just grabbed those those weren't actually originally on my list but again too that was cheaper than where I was gonna find them anywhere else really um, so anyways I'll share with you guys everything we ended up picking up for this week at Meyer and share with you guys all the deals how I ended up working everything out um, like I said too they were all fairly good deals that I had going on and in addition to that too they also had some of the same deals that were running um, not Meyer but some of the same deals that I've been sharing with you guys too as far as like the Ibotta offers and things like that they had that were running similar to um, last Last week and the week prior even as well so I'll share all those with you guys along with all the extra and new sales that were going on for this week too. All these items here on the table would have totaled $149.92. I paid $88.31 again had I used that dollar coupon and had both of those properly you know the two packets of the seasoning mix or gravy mix rang up um, I would have been looking at $85.52 so not a huge difference um, but 
I ended up saving $54.61. However, I did use $3, the $3 reward that I had earned from, um, I ended up earning over like last week and so on. Um, it was like a hundred, when you spend $150, you get $3 off your future purchase. I ended up earning that last week. Um, and so I used that this week. I got back $36.05 for my bottom. In addition to that, they also had, I was telling you guys, that Thanksgiving bonus as well, where when you redeem 20 offers, you get back um, $10 um, from Ibotta. So I already had, I think, 12 that I counted towards last week between Meyer and Jewel. This week at Meyer, it looks like I ended up doing 17. So I have to wait for sure to see exactly what that ends up processing, um, which it will normally take about a day or so. But when it does, I should most likely hopefully get that $10 back. In addition to they had a midweek bonus where if you redeemed 15 offers, which like I said, I should be at, um, at 17 was what I redeemed, um, you get an additional $3 back. So I will get both of those back. So that's an extra $13 bonus, making the total that I got back for all these items $49 and five cents. So my net cost for everything was $42.26. Had, again, I used that coupon, the other stuff rang up at the right price, you know, what my anticipated, you know, again, everything worked out perfectly. It would have been only $39.42. So we're looking at a net cost of under 40 bucks really for all this stuff, which I think is awesome because again, some of this stuff is super, super expensive. Like 40 bucks alone, that little um, Airwick Essential Mists retails at 10 bucks. Um, I think 1049. <laughs> so again, and the, the Cinnabon coffee I think is 9.99. Two of those items alone would have been half of what the net cost I pretty much ended up paying for all of this stuff, which is awesome. So in addition to that, with the, um, you know, the net cost savings, I really ended up saving about $100 on all this stuff. So again, uh, I ended up paying only about a third of what all of these items ended up costing. I told you guys, I always look for at least 50% or greater, or if I can't find that, I try to at least make sure if it's something that I'm like, oh, that still is a really good deal because it's still cheaper than like Walmart or all these price, which is where I know I can get the cheapest items on things. For example, like pancake mix. Um, Walmart's price on pancake mix is actually... Um, much more money than what I ended up getting this for. So I don't think that I had necessarily 50% savings with those items. However, with, like I was saying, compared to Walmart's price, I ended up getting that for a considerably, you know, cheaper price than, you know, what they have it. So when we do run out, I think we have a little bit of pancake mix left, but when we do end up running out, I don't have to go to Walmart and buy it now. I have two that I just ended up picking up for cheaper than that at Meyer. So, um, let me break down all the deals that were going on for you guys this week. Um, I have everything sort of split up between coupon, coupon in Ibotta, and then just Ibotta offers. So, there's a lot of different stuff going on, so I'll try and break all that down for you guys. So, these items sort of over here were just just single I bought an offer. So I ended up paying the price of the items that I'll share with you guys, but then I do wind up getting, like I said, that rebate back using the I bought an offers, um, you know, their rebates. So um, I'll share with you guys these. First off, the popcorn, um, those were on sale for, I believe, $2.99, and you get $1.50 back from my bottom, making it $1.49, which is a pretty good price. They also had, again, I did this offer, um, the Holland House, this time I got organic um, garlic red wine vinegar. Um, this was on sale for $2.49. They had $1.50 back from my bottom, so that was only $0.99, cents, and this is really nice. We'll use this a lot of times in replacement of wine for, like, um, like shrimp scampi, that kind of stuff. And again, too, I thought having it garlic flavored already would be kind of nice to try that out. Um, and then also, too, I showed you guys this deal last week. I picked up five of these last week. I just picked up another one this week. Um, but these are super good price. These Fannie Mae S'more Snack Mix um, are normal price $4.19. And you wind up getting back at $3 from my bottom, making it just $1.19, which for these are a pretty good price. We had the Cinnabon K-Cups. These were on sale for $5.99 and you get $2.50 back from Ibotta. So that ends up making that $3.49, which is a fairly good price for K-Cups. That is, I believe, cheaper than Aldi's price. I want to say Aldi's price is $3.75 or maybe about 4 bucks, somewhere right around there. So that's a good deal. The other thing is, too, because I bought this, I did get a Catalina that printed back for $1.50 off of two. So if they have this, um, this sale running next week or in the future, because I think the coupon doesn't expire until the um, January, and then they also have the um, I bought an offer as well. Um, I could wind up getting these for even cheaper than that, like end up getting them for like $2.75 around that if I pick up two of them. So that's awesome. I know my mom likes this brand 
and so that was really good um they also had the cracker barrel um cheese um this is a smaller like eight ounce sort of package but this is like one of the best cheese for cracker cheese and crackers um these were um, on sale for $2.99 and you get a dollar back from my bottom making it just $1.99 and I told you guys how normally for like Thanksgiving sort of appetizers we wind up doing cheese and crackers or for Christmas even too so I love getting a good deal on the cracker barrel cheese so that was good they also had um as I was sharing with you guys sort of over the last couple weeks um the Ibotta offers that they had for the Thanksgiving sort of turkey deal. So I think it was redeem 15 rebates or something like that and you ended up getting that butterball turkey for $14 off. I'm going to be doing that deal at Jewel um, most likely on Sunday. But then they also had an additional sort of um, like bonus offer where if you ended up redeeming a couple more rebates as well you ended up getting a couple sides for free. So they had the um, McCormick turkey gravy packet. So you get this free up to I think it's a dollar and um, um, 40 cents and I think that this was on sale for a dollar and 38 cents I want to say something like that so I should either be getting back the full dollar 40 or else it will you know adjust it to making it a dollar and 38 cents or whatever but that's a pretty good price they also had the ocean spray uh jellied cranberries this was on sale for I think 199 198 something along those lines you get two dollars back so I should again get that either for free or a couple cents um and then the jiffy corn muffin mix I ended up getting the vegetarian kind which also was available as well but that was 65 cents you get 65 cents back so that was free so again too those were my couple little sides which is awesome to get a couple sides for free for thanksgiving um you know in addition to as well the turkey like i said that i will be getting at jewel so um those were i think all of the single ibotta offer rebates that were going on and then the coupons that they had going on this was everything that i used was just meyer coupons um the m perks coupons so again they were all um the digital ones they had, um, like I was telling you guys too, these Pioneer, um, specifically the smoky country bacon flavored, um, like for biscuits and gravy. Um, they had these or the, I think jalapeno or something like that. So these I believe were a dollar and 39 cents, something along those lines. And like I was saying, they did have the buy one, get one free coupon that was only available on these select varieties. Um, and so again, had both of these, cause like I said, this, this one, instead of ringing up two of these, two of these got rang up instead so I didn't end up getting that coupon off but that would have made these about 70 cents or so each um which is a pretty decent price for these um and like I said too we do do this kind of stuff a lot and I was even thinking possibly for like either Thanksgiving breakfast Christmas breakfast um something like that having these in the pantry is a good idea um they also had the Watkins um which like I said this was what got rang up twice these were $1.79 but they did have a dollar off any of the Watkins organic seasonings um like mixing packets um these were on sale like i said um or regular price for 179 with the dollar off coupon i paid 79 cents for that they also had the bic soleil um uh razors the four count three blade razors are um a normal price five dollars 19 cents there's a three dollar off coupon making that two dollars and 19 cents they also had the reese um chopped artichoke hearts these were on sale for 249 and there was a 50 cent off coupon making them 199 um that again too i was checking because i was like is that really a good price you know like what's walmart's price i think theirs are 250 or three bucks or something like that so this actually was a pretty decent deal um and also too i was thinking again doing like artichoke spinach dip possibly for christmas or or something like that um just having because again i don't get a lot of deals on this kind of stuff so just knowing that at least i have this i can always pick and choose sort of what i want to use it for um they also had the ben gay vanishing scent um like uh, topical uh, gel um, this is on sale for our normal price uh, four dollars and 19 cents there's a two dollar off coupon making it 219 um, again too we have aches and pains in the house <laughs> somewhat often been gay and you know those type of things are something that we do wind up using so that was a pretty decent deal they also had this um, the nature's path um, granola which I told you guys I wind up using this kind of stuff pretty often as well for when we do like parfaits um those were on sale for 2.99 they had dollars off any nature's path organic um products so i ended up getting that for 1.99 again to 
uh, granola is fairly expensive. Even all these price Walmarts price, very expensive. So even $2.99 on sale, I think that's almost cheaper than I want to say like all these in Walmarts price. So in addition to that, getting the coupon and using that is a really good deal. Um, they also had the Nivea Men's um, Body Wash. This was on sale or normal price $4.19. There was a $2 off coupon making it $2.19. I told you guys my normal go-to price kind of for personal care products and things like that is around two bucks. So I thought that that was a really good deal. They also had the Febreze, um, the air, Febreze air like sprays. They were on sale $6.70 for two. I don't know why they like make that so weird and don't just like round it up or round it down. <laughs> like instead of just being like $6.50 or $7 or something like that. And then there was a $3.30 off coupon. Like I said, they've been having this sale a lot with the Febreze. I don't know why they don't just like round it. Like I said, it just makes it so confusing because normally I honestly, I can add up like nine you know like nine cents at the end i can just do that so quickly because i'm always dealing with that we just for some reason in the u.s like i said we just leave everything is like 99 or 59 29 whatever i automatically can just do nines in my head like nobody's business so um <laughs> having this be all like I said just um so weird I'm like wait I have to figure out I have to get a calculator now and try and add and figure this out because again too I can normally just real quick figure out like okay and you know I had that that coupon whatever took off and stuff like that but with these I keep forgetting what the cost ends up being so they end up working to, out to be a dollar and 70 cents I prefer to pay anywhere between around two bucks to dollar fifty for like air fresheners um so I, again I don't think that that's too bad of a deal and again too that's something that we do wind up using we'll have to buy if we run out so I don't mind getting at that price knowing that that is cheaper so then also too with the pearl milling company pancake mix um like I said too we might wind up using this for Christmas breakfast for um Thanksgiving breakfast possibly or whatever it is so those are normal price two dollars 39 cents however they had a dollar or two dollars off of two so when I bought two I paid 4.78 but I got the two dollars off making it just two dollars 78 cents or a dollar and 39 cents each which again too like I was saying I think at like the absolute cheapest I was comparing like to ounce sizes because I think maybe Walmart sells a bigger package or something like that which normally you buy in bulk and it actually is less you know per ounce per pound whatever but um, even compared to that Walmart's price was still more money so again I thought this was a pretty good deal they also had two of these Reese's um the like uh, peanut butter chips those were um and I think they had some other varieties as well um, that were on sale but I ended up picking those up they were on sale for two dollars 19 cents and they had a dollar off two I ended up getting these for only a dollar and 69 cents which again too I think is fairly good for um, chocolate chips um, an actual like name brand Reese's peanut butter chips is pretty good as well so I think that was everything as far as just coupons go everything else that I ended up getting the last of this was coupons and I bought offers as well that I ended up doing um, so oh the only other thing was the potatoes like I was saying those are 99 cents for a five pound bag which like I said compared to any of the other grocery stores in my area I think was the best price um, for the uh, potatoes so the other thing too guys that I thought was kind of fun um, they had these they either had the macaroons um, which were $5.99 or else the eclairs or cream puffs which I'm not a huge fan of I do love macaroons though um, those were um, like I said $5.99 the other two were $4.99 but they had a $1.50 off um and perks coupon you also get a dollar fifty back for my bada so I got three dollars off when these are normally five ninety nine on sale right now um so I ended up only getting those for two ninety nine which I actually thought was pretty good and again too maybe dessert for Thanksgiving or whatever um would be kind of nice and um the if you ended up getting though the cream puffs or the eclairs those would have been one ninety nine which is I, I think a little bit of a better deal again too I like the macaroons more so that's what I <laughs> I ended up picking those um so and again too that's still a fairly good price for those anyway um then with the bar s um the like deli meats um those are on sale for a dollar and 29 cents i picked up two and then i used a 50 cent off one coupon so i could have just bought one and got this for a better deal because the ibotta limit was two and even with that um like it was still a really good deal so i ended up paying 208 but then there was 50 cents that you get back on one which like i said was a limited two so i got a dollar back for buying two making it 108 for two or 54 cents each which is a fairly good deal um and then to this degree which i have never really ever gotten like um 
spray deodorant before, but um, I never get deals really on that almost at all. So this was actually a very good deal. These were on sale for um, our normal price at $6.09. They had a $3 off and perks coupon, so I paid $3.09. But I ended up getting a dollar and seventy-five cents back for my bot and making it one thirty-four. Like I told you guys, my go-to is anything really around two bucks for personal care. So the fact that I got that for so much cheaper, and again, too, spray deodorant is way more money than regular, just like roll-on deodorant. So the fact that I got that cheaper than what I can even get really like roll-on deodorant for is a really good deal. Um, and then also to this Velveeta cheese, this wasn't the best deal ever, but um, I normally don't wind up actually really seeing deals on this. And again, too, I am thinking either we can I don't know how long or shelf stable it is but even to for like Super Bowl for queso dip something along those lines normally you can use this too for like mac and cheese I told you guys I like to do my own homemade mac and cheese so I probably won't use this for that but definitely we will have a use for it for whatever again I always try and buy the stuff that I can um, and get it cheaper and then know like okay well we can use that for this holiday we can use this as a special thing for this or whatever um, you know something that again too I don't normally get on sale or get deals on or whatever um, just knowing that especially right now too with uh, there's a lot of sort of holidays that are coming up right in a row um, knowing that we will use this for something <laughs> you know it's just I rather have it in the pantry and go okay I already bought that let's just figure out a way to add this as making it into an appetizer making it into you know something whatever plan the meal that we're making for that holiday or whatever sort of around what we already have in the pantry so again I'll get it when it's on sale and I can get a really good price on it and then you know like I was saying um, you know figure out a use for it later but uh, and that is uh, 8 dollars There was a 50 cent off coupon from M Perks. And then for my bot, I ended up getting back $1.75, making it only $5.84. I honestly think Walmart's price is around seven bucks for this. So getting this for under six bucks, I thought was again, a really good deal. And like I said, we will find out. It's a big two pound package too. So again, we can probably use this for a couple different things. Also had the pizzas on sale. This was on sale for $4.99 and there was a dollar off M Perks coupon. So I paid $3.99. You also got 75 cents back from Ibotta, making it only, um, uh, three dollars and 24 cents which normally I try and stick to right around three bucks for pizzas like frozen pizzas um like I said depending on the brand as well so I thought that was a pretty decent deal they also had the kashi um like waffles those are normal price three dollars and 59 cents there is a dollar off and perks coupon in addition to that you also end up getting back um a dollar and 25 cents for my bada making it only a dollar and 34 cents which I think all these prices about a dollar fifty or so for waffles um which jack likes to have in the morning these are also a much more expensive you know brand so i'm um, getting it again for that price is a fairly good deal then i think i shared with you guys this last week or two weeks ago um i think it was two weeks ago they had the airworks essential mist like starter kit um it's normal price ten dollars and 49 cents um and they had a five dollar off in perks coupon in addition to that, you also get $5 back for my bottle. So I got that for just 49 cents. Before, when I did that two weeks ago, it was a $5.50 off coupon. So I got it completely for free. This week, I got it for 49 cents, which still, again, normally something that's $10 I got for 49 cents is an awesome price. Um, and then too, with that pasta um, those heat and eats, um, like I said, this was what I ended up forgetting to use the dollar off coupon on um, that um, Catalina, which I got another one to print as well. So I ended up getting that um you know i can use that in the future as well if they have the ibotta offer that resets so those are normal price two dollars and 39 cents now like i said there i had a dollar off to um Catalina. Prior to that though, there is, which I already used, which was how I got the first Catalina to print was because I bought these using the M Perks coupon. So that could still be available as well. I think it's not, it hasn't expired yet, but you could wind up paying as low as $3.78 for those. And then you get a dollar back from Ibotta um, when you buy one. So since I bought two, I end up getting back $2, making it $1.78 for two or uh, 89 cents each. Again, two though, because I didn't have that coupon, I still ended up paying a dollar and 39 cents which i don't think that good of a deal for these um like i said it's more the convenience but had again i actually used that coupon and not forgotten it in my purse would have made it for a little bit of a better deal then lastly um which i think was actually a much better sort of surprise deal that i wasn't originally planning on um it, it, exactly the way it ended up working out but they had the icy hot patches those were on sale um i think 30 percent off or something 
something like that. In addition to that, they were also on sale, buy one, get one 40% off. So in total, um, after the initial sale, they were $5.11. Um, so I bought two of them for $10.22. But then with the buy one, get one 40% off, it took an additional um, $2.04 off. There was also a $2 off coupon as well. Um, from M Perk. So I paid $6.18 for those. But then I also got back $3 for my bottle, which was a limit of two. So I ended up doing that twice, getting back $6 in total, making that just 18 cents for two of those, or only nine cents each, which is, like I said, a very good deal for those. Those are normally pretty expensive. Like I said, normally I think they're six or seven, almost seven dollars um, at the stores, what they retail at. So those were all the deals I ended up doing, like I said, for this week. And like I was saying too, with my $10 bonus that I get back, for all of those rebates I ended up doing, plus the $3 bonus that I get back as well. For um, the other ones, like I said, I ended up doing, it's it's a lot that I'll wind up getting back. And for sure though, I won't know exactly how it all ends up working out until it actually goes through and processes, like, which like I said, will most likely take about a day or two um, in total. Like I said, sometimes randomly, it might take a little bit longer than that, but sometimes also processes really fast and it's like done within the day. A lot of times too, once I'm like done recording this, <laughs> I end the vlog and then all of a sudden it processes and I'm like, oh, I should t tell you guys like I got this bonus back or whatever. Sometimes I do wind up actually getting back more than I do wind up sharing with you guys too. So again, too, tons of awesome deals. A lot of stuff that, like I said, too, is like sort of party food sort of things that we got, which like I said, if it's not specific stuff that we're using for Thanksgiving right now, it'll be stuff that again, we use for Christmas, um, uh, New Year's, for um, Super Bowl, that kind of stuff. Again, I a lot of this stuff is, you know, somewhat pantry stable so we can get this stuff and then wait you know a little bit of time to wind up using some of those things like I said if we don't use those right away so anyways guys like I said all really good deals also too a lot of deals on things that I haven't bought before like I said too I don't normally get those like macaroons I haven't really gotten um uh like spray on deodorant before I normally haven't gotten really great deals on like the icy hot or Bengay stuff like that I think I bought one of those before cracker barrel um you know also two k-cups all of a sudden we're actually getting really good deals on for the longest time I couldn't find hardly any deals on those and now all of a sudden I've got tons of deals which is awesome so um, like I said, a good variety of stuff too that we ended up picking up, but again, today's surprise haul for you guys. <laughs> um, I will be sharing again too. I think we might try and go to, um, Tony's and Caputo's on uh, Saturday, I think possibly, and then do regular jewel and all the on Sunday. So, um, just because we got a lot of stuff going on between birthday stuff and then also to Thanksgiving and things like that. So timing is a little all over the place right now and, um, scheduling and stuff like that. So that's why it worked out to go today. And again, too, it was, it was lucky I finished my grocery list last night when I did. So, um, we were able to pick up all this stuff and like I say, get all the deals and everything like that. And I got my free sort of Thanksgiving sides all today from Meyer, which was all awesome. So anyways, I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye guys.